right uh, one more time, big time there on independent television, and uh, we're still talking about children and uh, celebrating them, as we say. Happy Children's Day to children out there. I said a while ago that uh, it's also big time for birthdays, uh, you know, anniversaries and big celebrations. So we are celebrating <laughs> Chigarandobi Ekuga, uh, who is a uh, uh, a son to one of my regular guests, uh, Pastor Emeka Ekuga, as he completes five years old today. So from Uncle Evans, I say big celebrations to you and happy five years old. Happy birthday. Well, quickly, let's talk a little bit of politics as we make preparation for uh, the Nigerian child and national development. Uh, we understand that uh, INEC has said that they are not going back as far as the state election is concerned. And as a matter of fact, by... Uh, by 22nd of uh, next month, uh, the primaries are supposed to have been held for uh, the political, political parties that are going to be fielding uh, candidates for that uh, uh, governorship election sometime in September this year. And uh, the big one with uh, the All Progressives Congress is uh, the tussle. You know, on which particular primaries to adopt this time, whether the direct primaries or the indirect uh, primaries. And of course, uh, if you have been a political um, you know, maybe political uh, ethosias, so to say. You would have recalled that this has always, always been a big tussle, a big argument any time we have election in our state. Well, to look at all this today, we are so privileged to have uh, Pastor Edmeka Ekuga. So you welcome to this program. Thank you, Vance. TV. God bless you, Nigerians. And also we have Dr. Pastor Logat Sado. So you welcome to this program this morning on RITV. Thank you very much, Mr. Evans, yeah. and good morning, Edo people and Nigerians. Okay. Now, for quite some days now, the argument has, uh, you know, started. Uh, what, what kind of uh, primaries to adopt for uh, the Edo election? Now, in your own views, I'll start with uh, Pastor Ebeka Ekura. What do you think is uh, uh, should be most appropriate, considering the whole talks uh, about the pandemic, about what is going on, about the situation and all that, as it relates to Edo State now? Well, by your simpler question, the answer is already there. Uh, if you look at the situation of tense, this very period, social distancing because of COVID-19, I think uh, it is important the Edo state in general and government should do the needful. I happen to understand that in 2016, the election that brought in the incumbent governor today, Governor Godwin Obaseke, was indirect primary. And uh, if you also look at the situation of things on ground today as regard to COVID-19, I think there should also be need to adopt the same measure. To my take, I don't think it is going to be very important and uh, very good at all to uh, uh, danger the life of people in as much as coronavirus is concerned. If you go to into direct uh, primary, you discover you're going to have about 4,000 to 5,000 uh, 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 party card career members that would go into voting for direct primary. And uh, by such, you will succeed in endangering life of so many people. How do you control it? What measure are you going to put in place to make sure you make it right? But when you go into indirect primary, I think it will help, whereby you have delegates that will go into a kind of voting to adopt whomever is going to be the next candidate of uh, particularly a APC. For the governorship election. For the governorship election. Okay. Now, uh, uh, Pastor Lugat Sago, uh, Sado, uh, the uh, whole idea of uh, this whole thing borders on what uh, the Constitution says, the APC Constitution. Now, uh, <laughs> I'm not a lawyer, but most people are really trying to explain uh, the way it stands that uh, uh, the National Working Committee of the APC has uh, the responsibility, the prerogative. Uh, to conduct election under the supervision of the national chairman on one side. And of course, we also have the aspect of the APC constitution uh, that talks about uh, it is the states that uh, predict or says how uh, the election should be uh, conducted, the primaries should be conducted. But we are looking at a situation here, you know, the pandemic situation. And uh, a lot of people have also said that, look, even if we talk about the pandemic, 
we're talking about a democratic situation here, a democratic uh, process that should ensure or that will ensure that um, a flag, uh, a, a flag bearer of, of the party comes up democratically. So in the light of all this, do you think that if we go ahead with all the talks that at the end of the day, uh, we're going to come up with a candidate that we abide uh, with everybody? Yes, I, I, I think so. Uh, based on what we, we, what we know in Edo State and what we know in Nigeria, the constitution of the APC is very clear. However, there are some hiccups. I guess that's the reason why you have situations where people are towing the line that the National Working Committee should be the one to decide the modus of Randy for selecting their candidate. And then some other groups insist, based on the same constitution, that look, the state uh, party, the party ex executive, are the ones to decide how a candidate should come up. Now, in the APC constitution, generally, there are three ways you can select a candidate. It can be through direct primaries. It can indirect. be through indirect primaries. It can even be through consensus. In which case, whichever of these three, it will be seen as democratic because the people agreed in writing that constitution. So that is the document that guides them. However, in the light of the pandemic situation, and INEC was quick to make mention of that, that parties must ensure that they put the pandemic situation in contest while carrying out their primary uh, elections. In the light of that, I think that it will not be very right for any person or group of persons to insist on direct primaries in Edo State. I do not think any candidate is scared of going into direct primaries. But knowing fully well that in direct primaries, all card-carrying members of the party will be the ones to vote, then that will be suicidal. That's for indirect. Oh. I mean, for direct. For direct, for direct primaries. Okay. All card carrying members are the ones to vote. Mm. Now, the implication of that is you are likely to have millions of people, not thousands, millions, because APC claim to have millions of people in Edo State. So you are likely to have at least a million, 1.5 or 2, 3 million persons coming out to vote in, across the various 18 local governments in Edo State. Yeah, that Dr. will spare a lot of doom. Yeah, advocates of what you are trying to explain, I have also gone for that to try to explain it, that look, this does not necessarily mean that um, uh, we're going to have people gather together the way it's going to likely to be for indirect uh, primaries. Now, we're talking about uh, uh, a, a, an election that if it happens to be a direct primary, it's going to be an election that you're going to have uh, people coming from their ward units uh, to local government units and all that. And this is going to mean that people are going to come out in a smaller unit compared to when we have an indirect uh, primary. Not, not at all. Not mm. at all. That is not correct. We have seen direct... Let's use the case of Lagos, Ambode's case as a typical example. And then you will notice the people who came out to vote were in their thousands. Some local government had 18,000, some 19,000, as the case may be. So it is not in indirect primaries, you are going to have delegates. And the delegates are going to speak on behalf of their people. So the people will choose their delegates. It is still very democratic. Because in indirect primaries, no, no individual will wake up from the street and decide that he's the one representing his ward or constituency. He also will be chosen by a group of persons within that world or constituency so that he will have their mandate. So his one vote may be equal to 15,000 votes. By so doing, you are minimizing contact with people and you are reducing the possibility of the spread of this coronavirus, except what people have been saying is true, that the virus is a lie and that it is political. If government goes ahead and if the party goes ahead insisting on direct primaries, then it may lead to asking, lead to a, a, a situation where we'll begin to ask questions, not just to the political party, but to NCDC, to the presidency itself, to say, look, you have told us that we should not go to churches, we should not go to mosques because of the possibility of the spread of this virus. In fact, you have moved marketplaces from their traditional marketplaces to open market squares so that to have to allow ventilation and reduce the spread. How come party election or party primaries will not be an exception? Of course, Nigerians are going to ask questions. And that in itself could spell doom for the country because once people begin to cast as passion on the integrity of public statement made by the government, then you can be certain that Nigerians will take laws into their hands. And of course, it will be like the old Bible saying to your tent, no oh, Israel. Right. Okay. Now, uh, Pastor Mika Ekuga, do, yeah. do, do you see the possibility of uh, maybe some politicians trying to hide under uh, the uh, pandemic situation? Uh, because some people have said that, look, this is another test to perhaps test how popular you are. 
Uh, so instead of trying to hide under a situation, why don't you uh, leave it the way it ought to be, the way the Constitution says? Well, of course, you've just said something very important here. When you're not popular, you do everything possible to make sure you have your way. That's just the truth. And uh, the other time we talk about corruption here. There is nothing in Nigeria we do, corruption is not involved. Whether direct or indirect, there is no way it's going to be very, very clear. There is no way you would come and tell me here uh, the, the uh, primary of uh, uh, election that brings in a governor in a particular state is just free and fair. In Nigeria, we have not gotten to that. I just thank God because I overheard something about the INEC conducting 2021 20, elections on uh, electronic media. Mm. That will be uh, 2021, next year. 2021, election. next yeah. year. I had something like that. I know we've been advocating for this each time we come on this platform. We keep telling INEC we need to grow. We need to come up. We need to do something like a country that is civilized. And until we got, get to that point, begin to manage it, there is no way we can get free and fair election. If there, there is no doubt that some, some candidates will hide under this pandemic to you know, agitate for whatever uh, mood they want for this uh, primary election. But that notwithstanding, mm. that the truth must be told. And uh, like what uh, uh, Dr. Sado just said now, if churches can be closed, mosques can be closed, and the markets are being relocated from main market to schools, and the shops are closed. People are just in social distancing in a way suffering too. And they get to primary election. And you are, you are asking everybody to go into the field and vote. I think it is uncalled for. All right. So you are advocating for a, an indirect... In, as long as the pandemic is concerned, it should be indirect primary. Okay. But we should also bring to mind that even for the indirect election, we are also looking at people gathering in a place also... Uh, the, uh, it's not as if we are going to uh, not going to have crowd at all. Yeah, but it could be it could be controlled. Okay. In the, we, today we have churches going on. Mm. They didn't shut down churches. In those state in particular they didn't shut down churches. They will tell you operate in twenties. Mm. Don't be more than twenties. Mm. And it has been always been managed. Less than one hour, a particular ministry must have finished a service. Another section comes in, and it has just been like that. So if in indirect primary, you can also manage the, the, the number of people. Of course, it's going to be on delegates. Indirect primary goes on delegates. It's not going to be a general something. Okay. Now, uh, uh, Dr. Sado, let's uh, look at one uh, recent development. Uh, there's no doubt that uh, the APC is polarized in Edo State. And as we speak now, we understand that uh, a certain faction has adopted a certain uh, you know, politician that uh, will flag uh, the flag for the APC in, that, uh, in their own fraction. Yes. Now, uh, the wonder is how far can we go in this whole uh, you know, uh, situation in the light of the, uh, the, 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 the 2020 Edo State election. Now, you have people coming, group of people saying that, look, this is our own consensus candidate. And of course, these same people are agitating for that. Look, let's have a direct uh, you know, primaries. Now, if you guys know that you guys are going to have it, that, that if you guys are advocating for a direct primary, that all card carrying member of APC should come and vote. Why should you go ahead to adopt a certain candidate? That's a big question. Exactly the point. The question begging for answer is that the party itself is in trouble. APC needs help. Unfortunately, it appears the party is not aware. Well, that's not, that may not just be APC. Most of the parties... No, no. Uh, well, the, have, the scenario yeah. you painted is that of APC. Yeah. As it stands, I think our discussion is centered around the APC. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not a card carry member of any political party. However, based on what I see on ground, like the Bible says, a house divided against itself cannot stand. And you know, on this platform, I advocated several months ago on the need for the two warlords to bury their hatches and reconcile because it will, be, it will not be only in their interest, it will be in the interest of Edo State and of course the residents of Edo State. What you have said is very clear. You are insisting on direct primaries 
and yet you have adopted a consensus no, candidate. I, I, that already. is not a categorical no, statement. I, I, I don't have an, any. I don't have any I agree. position. Any proof however, to that. Ha, however, but, but I'm uh, only just trying to. Uh, however, do my job, yeah. that create that will create a bad blood. It will create suspicion. It will not encourage people to agree to following the directive of the direct primaries because it would assume that it will just be a mere exercise that the decision has been taken already. However, that is not even my concern. My concern typically is that it appears the party is not learning from past mistakes. For instance, in the just concluded elections and of course the Supreme Court decision in Bayelsa State, you are aware that the APC won that election. Mm. And of course, the guy was already rehearsing to be sworn in on Thursday when the Supreme Court took a decision and he was informed that he was no longer governor. Why? Because of issues like this. Mm. It, it generated INEC, from the primaries. Exactly. INEC has said that by 22nd of June, primaries should have been conduct, conducted and concluded. Mm -hmm. Now, it is assumed that the House should be put in order. And at the end of the day, everyone will agree that this is our candidate. And the only way it can be done is through a democratic means. And good enough, the party, the, the party elders in their wisdom crafted a constitution that gave room for three options. These options are the direct primaries, the indirect primaries, and the consensus, consensus. option. The consensus option is not just a give and take. You will still be subjected to election, but it will be a yes or a no vote, mm. in which case there is no other person contesting. And that it is only uh, Mr. XYZ that is contesting. Do you want him to be our, card card, our, our flag bearer? Yes, those who are engaged say nay, like they will say in Senate. And then it is also done. That is also democratic. So to that extent, the APC has very strong opportunity to make sure that they keep their state. Now, we are not saying that if they did their elections where primaries were, that they, were, they are going to win the general election. That's not what we're saying. But that they should be on a level playing ground such that whatever the outcome of their primaries will be, it will not be subject to another legal or li any, uh, another litigation that may upturn their victories in, in case they pool. win yeah. the elections, yeah. and then they will be able to sustain themselves. Having said that, it's important that the party must understand that Edo State is bigger than any political party. Therefore, whatever anyone is doing in the name of any political party must look at the big picture and must understand that, look, they are playing with lives. They are playing with the destiny. Beyond the health issues associated with direct primaries, mm. we are talking of, if you like, the toggery that may soon be associated with all of this, mm. the name calling, the, and of course, maybe political assassination and things like that. These are possibilities in a heated political scenario. It must be avoided. avoided. And those states is beginning to make progress, in my opinion, and I think that we should sustain the progress that we are making by following the due uh, process. If a do APC insists, that they want indirect primaries or that they want direct or consensus uh, uh, whatever elections, I think that the national, in their wisdom, must listen to those who are on ground, who are on the field, mm. who know the terrain and who know the risk associated with the various elections and have adopted. In any case, no one has insisted that this is their member or this is the person that they are giving the card or giving the flag. Everyone has opportunity to acquire the form, although it's expensive. Mm. So permit me to change my, my, my thought. Not everyone has opportunity to acquire their form because, again, the politics in Nigeria is only for the rich. Mm. How can you say to collect a primary election, you show interest well, in that's what we are looking at and now. another 20 million? Uh, we're, we're, it is not, very we're, disturbing, Mr. Yeah, it's it's still important. Wait, that, wait. It's still important. important I, I may have been interested yeah. in picking up that, that, that uh, showing interest in contesting yeah, for so but, but, but because, of, so because of financial situation, yeah. I am being sidelined. Yeah, I can no longer contest. Yeah, if you know you have the money, you go. Mr. Evans, that's what we're talking about. You are a very popular man, and by your integrity and status in ITV, you stand the ground of contesting any election in Nigeria. But I guess if we were to put your salaries together in the next 20 years, you may not be able to raise 25 million. I can't do that in spite of my status as an academic. That right, is that, disturbing. That, that, that's, that's another argument for another day. Uh, so let's not uh, jump uh, the guns, even as we try to explain uh, the situation. Now, uh, past, uh, uh, Pastor Luga, Pastor Ekuga, uh, the APC is not left alone in this. Even in the PDP, we understand that the PDP has uh, come up to come out to say that they are going to adopt a consensus candidate. So it is not as if uh, it's just in the APC. Of course. Now, in the light of all this, are we looking at a situation whereby uh, democracy has really been entrenched in those states? Hey, we still have all these arguments at the primary level. You know, can we really say that we've gotten it democratically? democratically in those states? I doubt. I doubt. I don't agree with that. If we've gotten it 
right, not only in a do state, but let's focus on a do state. You won't be able to come up and see any of these issues. Just like we're here now, assuming everything works out well. I comes that I want to contest. My brother comes that I don't want to contest. Even you come out, you want to contest. Yeah. And I don't see any reason why I should be angry with you that you want to contest. You test the popularity. If, if you are good enough, the people should be able to say, yes, you are, you are the one to be there. If you're better than me, people are seeing, people know. But in Nigeria, in a dust state, Nigeria generally, we've not gotten to that stage. You discover when it comes to election, even ordinary primary, you begin to see some negative steps people are taking. If you go to the social media, you see how they run down the other person. This person is being run down. So many things is being said. We've not gotten it properly as much as, as, much as democratic system of government is consigned. Yeah. But I still want to say this, and that is why you see the, uh, the tribunal, the judiciary in place. I said it here some time ago. I said if Nigerian is democratic, there will be no need for all this uh, 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 judiciary, Supreme Court, uh, uh, tribunal, and what have you. It, we won't get there. Everything will go accordingly. It is when we come out as, gen as public, as people, and say this is whom we want, and we vote, and our votes are being counted, we get it right. We cannot say we've come to democratic uh, stage of Nigeria or Edo state. It, we, have not, we can't get it right. And also want to use this medium to advise the judiciary. During this time, they're supposed to must have, have a kind of uh, test run. They're supposed to have a kind of, you know, putting certain things in place. It is from now you gather whatever information you need. In case if at the end a lot of somebody says, I'm going to court, you should be able to know why you should say this person win or this person didn't win. Well, that would be, you'll be preempting the mm -hmm. courts. I mean, the, the lawyers, the judiciary, they act on uh, facts available to them at any point. So even if you gather anything now, they may not be tenable. But, but that should be a study case. Mm -hmm. Just like the ANEC now, it's, ANEC is watching. You see what is playing here. The problem is that we compromise a lot. Okay. Now, uh, Dr. Sado, if we have a situation whereby between now and, say, June 22nd, that the primary is built for, if uh, the COVID-19 pandemic situation improves, uh, uh, can we still say that uh, indirect uh, primaries should be adopted? Exactly. The premise on which we are saying no, the premise on which I am saying no is the pandemic situation. So direct primary yeah, is the, the pandemic, pandemic situation. So if no. it improves. If it improves, why not? They should go to the field and test their popularity. If it improves. No, you see, I do not think anyone is saying that the direct primary is bad or is a bad idea on its own. In fact, it is the most democratic of the three options in their constitution. Now, Dr. Sado, the reason why I'm saying this, the result from the NCDC most recently is very worrisome. Disturbing. A lot of people still don't believe that, look, these results are actually, uh, you know, uh, are coming out. I mean, some people begin to believe that it's possible that politicians are beginning to collide with uh, the N NCDC in order for them to take advantage of the situation. What, what are your thoughts on this? Well, my thoughts are quite clear on that. As a person, I think that our statistics are underreported. 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 So you mean we can, there's possibility for us to have We are not results? testing. We are not testing. It's obvious that we are not testing. As at last week, we have tested only about 16 or 17,000 as a nation. Mm. Whereas in Ghana alone, they've tested over 200,000. So we are not testing. Uh, you see, our statistics are underreported. For instance, how do you explain a situation where you have told us community transmission and all the likes. You mean in a dose state? Yes, I'm painting it. Underreported in a dose state? Generally as a nation. Okay. I'm no, not let's focus on a dose state now. No, uh, but you know NCDC, yeah. I mean, no state announces their, 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 their coronavirus results. Yeah, but NCDC it is, is it is located. NCDC, uh, just a moment. Yeah. It is NCDC that is saddled with that responsibility. Yeah, and just the way we have NCDC in a dose state. Good. And NCDC is not an Edo state thing. We know. What we're saying is it's that It's a Nigerian people, thing. Yeah, what we're saying is that people, there is the high suspicion that uh, politicians may just be colliding or colluding now with Edo state NCDC to hike the figures, to hike the numbers, the result that comes out from Edo state. And I am, so saying, that, I am saying that that's not true. I am saying that, in my opinion, that the figures are even underreported. I'll tell you one or two reasons for that. You will understand. I know that elections are very important, but you will understand that we ought to have hosted the National Sports Festival by now. Certainly. 
But of course, because of the reality of the pandemic, of the pandemic those people in their wisdom thought it wise mm. to shift it. Mm. Nobody cried foul at that. Nobody said uh, those state had figures or inflated figures or whatever. As at that time, I think we didn't have a case or we had one or two cases. Mm. But as at now, we are running close to almost 200. In fact, I think by today, by the, by the time the figures are out, we may have hit 200. <laughs> How are you sure that figures will be out today? <laughs> Definitely. NCDC comes why, out with why? results on a daily basis. That's what I meant. Why don't you just wait? <laughs> no, we will wait. But you see, results, statistics are meant not only for now, but for predictions. Yeah. And I can predict that, look, if we had 25 days before yesterday, and as yesterday, as at yesterday, I do not think we had any figure. Because it appears the figures for those states come in in alternate days. Mm. So I am definite that we may have results, results today. today. Now, if we go by that, then it will be very disturbing. All right, Understand, now, just let, let, me, let yeah. me close on that. That see, in Nigeria, mm. we had the index case, which was just one person, mm -hmm. in less than three months ago. They blew. And it's blown beyond about our... 8,000 plus now. In yeah. Edo, in Ego, as of the last time I followed, we were told that we had about three or some cases in Edo, I mean in Ego. That was at the time we had just 60-something mm. in Edo State. Mm. You can imagine... If Nigeria had one, we are now running into tens of thousands. Imagine if Ubo has one, mm. the cumulative effect it will have on several persons. So right. this pandemic should not be politicized. Okay. Now, Ekuga, uh, 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 what are your final thoughts, quickly? Well, let me quickly say the APC as a party is not too late to put their house in order. Learn by what has happened in other states. Take, for instance, Zamfara. If there are factional uh, uh, candidates here and here, automatically what play in Zamfara will play in uh, APC in Edo State. Mm. So they should that's, ask. That's your own postulation. Yes, as a matter of fact, they should put their house in order. Okay. And they should not forget that there are opposition party like PDP, mm. who also is working very hard to take over the government house. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, gentlemen, because of time. Dr. Sado, thank you thank because you. of time, because uh, we are really celebrating the children out there today. We have uh, uh, Mrs. Kate Bello here with us, representing the Honorable, uh, the Honorable uh, Commissioner for Women and Social Development uh, on the program, and also Pastor Mrs. Aiko Rege. Uh, SSA on basic education to Edo State Government. So we're going to be talking about the role of the Nigerian child in uh, national development. Please stay tuned.